Yes, more unboxings. Here we go. And I've got two that I want to open for you. So let's let's take a look. This first one is from my G, Dude Guy FB, aka Clark. Hit us up on the chat a little bit ago, um, seeing if we wanted to donate some skateboarding wheels that we didn't use anymore in order to make some miniature skateboarding or fingerboarding wheels. Um, just like Sadud, but in his own ways, you know, his own style. So let's take a look at what he sent. These are just like prototypes. He sent a few to close homies to him. And uh, yeah, he wants to hear some feedback before he mass produces them because they, they take a they take a while to make they're kind of hard to make so um you need to order bearings all that stuff yeah let's take a look pretty sure they're gonna be awesome whoa yes dude look at that blue cores okay let's take them out this set in particular is from wheels that I sent him from my, like, my wheels, you know? So he made me, ooh, yeah, that looks so cool, okay. So essentially we got 3D printed cores and the outer material is the wheel, the skateboarding wheel. These are mini balls. Oh, heck yeah, I love them. I love them a lot. Excited to try this out, Clark. Thank you very much, amigo. Really happy. Fuck yeah. And I honestly don't want to get wheels from anyone else anymore. I think I just want to go with Clark's products. Because he's... I want to support local, you know? I really do. And I really fuck with... Skateboarding wheels made mini fingerboard wheels. Uh, this second one is an eBay find, pretty much. Oh my lord, okay. Hell yeah. So Mr. Shane Geiger, he sent me some peel cups. It's a flat face sticker. Another flat face sticker. Pretty cool. I hadn't seen this one before. You know what I really want to get again is the shields. The vinyl shields are the best. Another flat face sticker. I think these are, this one looks old, dude. Hell yeah. Another old flat face sticker. Oh shit. I love eBay because sometimes you just find rarities, dude. Stuff that people have collected over the years, and, and I think this is one of those kind of decks. I'll show you the extras that G threw in. Ooh, I've never had a brown link with like with this shade of green before. That's kinda cool. Flat face. I think these are all flat face stickers, y'all. I haven't seen this one be I mean I've seen them but all videos. Cool. Oh I was just talking about the shields. Fuck yeah dude, thank you. I love the flat face shield. This one is awesome. Alright, cool. And the deck, Burnley Wood Flat Face Cubes. I think this is a low 32. Oh, it's so nice. The plies on this are just cool as hell. I don't know if my camera does justice ever. So our top line is green, like a dark green. Then we have a. Uh, looks like an orange or it could be pink then the middle ply is blue then back to that pink orangey color and then the last one is green the thing about me with burling woods is that i don't like them when they have natural plies underneath the graphic because i think that their graphics for the most part shoe sure, are out to like a nice vibrant color especially if it's totally different than the color of the graphic and that's what i look for honestly and i have a bunch of burling woods all my burning woods have dye plies, like there's not a single natural color burning wood in my collection. And uh, there will never be, 
because I don't have a reason not to collect what I really want to collect. Well, anyways, little side story on that reason, but so big shouts out to Clark for putting in the time to send me these. Like I said, I just sent him my old wheels. I didn't really pay him anything. So thank you so much for hooking me up. Like the easiest part was sending you the wheels and I just waited in the mail for him. So for him to be this small. <laughs> yeah, I have to give him my opinions on this. So I gotta set him up. I have to figure out what to set him up on. Probably my main setup right now. Been writing my sponsor deck from ABC. Check him out. Some caution grip that I found. Yeah, this period does not have eye. They will just ward up and take the fight. Exactly what Ollie does. They see everything now. Okay, my first impressions on these wheels, they're very nice, very solid. Um, just one of them has a crazy fast bearing going on, the other three just, they just spin a bit. But this one, this one <laughs> spins like crazy and I mean I'm okay with it, doesn't really make it, like it doesn't really make it feel too bad, some people might not like it. I really don't care because they are like they're rolling and I know they'll roll for a while. I feel like I feel like my board is like really light. That's just my first impressions though. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about them in a few days and see what happens. Well it's been a few days. First and foremost, I love the wheels. They are really responsive, they grip to your surface. I mean it's not they're not for everybody but this is like what I'm into and I'm glad that um, I have them but there they won't be your cup of tea uh, if you're not into really soft wheels craftsmanship wise the wheels are made good they are made they're holding on and, it, and I've been doing my regular set of tricks going down stuff or just keep flipping as high as I can for the way I don't know and they've been taking a beating so the 3d printed cores they there's a little bit of play in between the bearing and the core so earlier I seen my wheel like crooked like like I think it was inwards like that way and it made it so my board kept turning I was like what the hell so I checked it on and all I did was just to pull the wheels out closer to the inner surface so that they're straight you know and that did it it just happens but he needs an honest opinion on them and yeah there's a little bit of a improvement to do on the dimensions i suppose uh, make it so that the core is a little closer to the bearing and that way is, there's no play room for it to play around and make the wheel go crooked uh, but i really don't mind that kind of stuff i usually just like i said pull them out and i just keep going on my sesh However, if it happens on every try that I go for, um, then I, I'm gonna have to switch the wheels because that's just affecting, you know, um, the amount of time I'm putting into a trick. If I'm going at it, like probably every half hour, I would say, it started like shifting. Uh, but there's a lot more time to, I'm gonna be sessioning for a long while, so. And also earlier in the video, I did mention that one of my bearings was going faster than all of them. And after a few days of them gathering dust, you know, getting some love, all of them roll about the same. They don't spin as much, but they roll. But they're not like, 
spinning crazy or anything. These are just prototypes, you know, he's trying things out. These are not supposed to be like, be getting hard reviews on, like honest reviews yet, but not like people hating on them because they're just, this a work in progress and I'm gonna give him good insight. I don't like roasting people for messing up or anything. So eventually these wheels are gonna start getting uh, an off-white color because urethane does that over time. So right now they look pretty white, but soon enough they would be getting tanner. And yeah, that's a look I really I, I like a lot because it makes it look more realistic and genuine. And these are Spitfire wheels, made mini fingerboard wheels. So yeah, it's gonna come over time. I had run over like a speck or something. I don't know. Keep an eye out for Clark dropping these anytime soon or whenever he's ready because some people are really gonna fuck with them. They're really nice solid wheels and they have potential. Little things to fix here and there like the gap in between the bearing and the core but other than that the wheel is not falling apart on me or anything it's just it's, it's doing the job and i like i like the grip that i have like they're soft like you're gonna notice they're soft and they will squeal like cool that's it i'm done with this video and i'll see you next time peace